Hey RVers and future RVers, I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We've got a beauty coming at you today. Have you heard of Brinkley RV? If you haven't, it'll be on your radar after you see this. We've got a lot to cover on this. This is the first of a kind. It's the Z Air Travel Trailer by Brinkley RV. It's a 295 model. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional in this model yet, so make sure you do some homework, do some research, because there's a lot of intricate features and details about this camper that we're just not gonna be able to cover today. But hold on tight, get ready to watch a big video. We're gonna cover, again, the 2024 Brinkley RV Z Air 295. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna tease you for a little bit before we get inside and look at the interior, which is just phenomenal. It's a residential style, which is beautiful. But outside, there's a ton of features that I definitely have to point out before we get inside. Why? Because a lot of them are just innovative. They're one of the kind uh, that you're gonna see in travel trailers, uh, first and foremost. Fifth wheel stuff, in a travel trailer format, awesome. So the functionality here for hooking up, disconnecting, all your, uh, your goodies, we've got to talk about the outside. Let's start with the hookup center. The hookup center is all centrally located, heated uh, through your uh, interior heat, which is awesome. Definitely check out all the insulation that they do and the construction practices because it is uh, just far superior than a lot of other travel trailers do. But the fact that everything is color coded, it's right here central, it's easy to get to. You have electric dump valves, you have all your uh, accessible water, you even have a retractable water hose, so that way you don't have to fumble through and throw it in storage. 50 amp service, why? Because you have two air conditioners on this thing to be able to run both at the same time. And the fact that a lot of this hookup stuff is push button makes it so much easier. You have a sewer hose uh, storage here for your, your dump stations uh, set up uh, connection here. And the cool thing here, it's kind of hard to see today with the bright um, sun, but up underneath is a stri uh, LED strip. So if you're hooking, unhooking at night, you've got a switch you can turn on and have some illumination, not have to worry about bringing a flashlight. Let's move up to the front. Big, robust uh, uh, propane storage here that also has your battery and the really cool thing is you can open it not only from the top but you also have two sides that open out so whether you're trying to access your battery your propane tanks or maybe even some other like tools or your tool bag or something we can access it from any section makes it super convenient This box up here is really cool. Again, you don't find it hardly on travel trailers. You do find them in fifth wheel, so they're bringing a lot of fifth wheel features that we love to have into the travel trailer format. You have auto leveling here that not only brings, you can bring uh, the, you know, with a push button up and down to hook and unhook, but your stabilizer jacks are electric via through here. You can push a button. Man, that makes camping so much easier. Other than the pretty front cap, we do have some lights here that we can turn on. Some switches are here that you can access to light up your storage as well. And there's two battery disconnects. I know it may not mean something to you right now, but they have a storage disconnect and a travel disconnect. That way we really optimize um, the solar the, uh, panel on the top to charge those batteries, whether we're using it or storing it. So quick uh, flip of the switch, and that way we have that uh, confidence that our battery is not gonna get drained, especially in the storage mode. You do have a sp uh, switch here for your speakers. As I mentioned, up underneath is uh, like their, um, their G model, their toy hauler models, we have speakers up underneath that we can have party patio time and be able to change stations and volumes right here real quick without having to go inside. And speaking of patio party time, check out the awning. I don't have them fully extended right here just with some of the other RVs in the proximity, but we have a big awning here. We have a big awning on the slide. Imagine having your family out here gathering, just chilling out, relaxing, enjoying your campsite with these two big awnings extended. We'll talk a little bit more about the windows inside, but you have these awesome frameless uh, square windows that are just innovative, um, uh, brought out here by Brinkley. There's so many good features about that. 
Nice big wide step to get into your door with a really strong handle here that easily retracts and gets out of the way. So I love the fact that it extends all the way through the steps. You're not already having to grab up here. You can grab down here as you enter your, your camper. You do have a keyless uh, entry pad there that you can code and uh, make it real easy so you don't have to dig out for keys and stuff, especially if you got the kids. This is a bunk model, you'll see when we get inside. So wouldn't it be nice to just be able to have your kids ha have that code and be able to get in and out without bothering you. Again, the second awning here, each awning has uh, a strip of LED lights so we can easily illuminate this patio patio uh, side and have a lot of fun. Moving to the back, other than that front storage that's passed through, this is huge. This has got a big um, area here up underneath the bunk beds that we can get a lot of uh, camping gear in. And the nice thing is that they have the storage finished off with this kind of like this, um, I don't know, kind of like a rubbery kind of mat. So I imagine if I spilled anything accidentally, it's probably real easy to clean up. And the cool thing about the storage, we have, out, we have lights on both sides, we have outlets so we can hook up some extra stuff. And if I don't want to get necessarily have to get into that side, we can get to the back side too. Let's look at this big door back here. And you'll have to forgive us, we got a lot of traffic today. But this door is a lot uh, taller so we can get those bigger, bulkier items in there. And there's a cool door that flips down if you need to separate it by chance, just to keep maybe some of your gear from moving back and forth. You do have a receiver here with power or with um, a le uh, lighting here. So if you have maybe like one of those storage trays that have extra lights, you can hook up here. But man, have an extra hitch here for bikes or maybe just that cargo rack to bring even more gear. Up at the top, we have a backup camera, which is awesome. So it gives us that security and that confidence when we're backing into our ca uh, tight camp spots. If we don't have an extra friend to come out and have um, be able to check and watch as you back up. The ladder, I have to point out with the ladder, this thing is probably one of the most robust ladders that I've ever seen on any of our uh, RVs. So I'm definitely, it's wide, it's robust. I'm definitely getting up there confidently to be able to get access my roof to make sure I'm checking my sealants, checking the plastic uh, coverings like the AC cover. And as I mentioned earlier, we have a solar, pro, um, solar uh, panel up there as well that we can get to. So what do you think? Again, this is the 2024 Brinkley uh, Z Air 295. Tons and tons of exterior features. Now I know what you've been waiting for. Let's get inside and check the in, uh, interior out. All right, so we're finally inside. Thanks for sticking with us. As you saw outside, there's a lot of automotive exterior kind of styling and construction. And the inside is, they boast this residential interior and it is just phenomenal and definitely evident as soon as you walk, walk into it. So we're gonna dive into all the cool inside features, but as I mentioned, you definitely have to get into doing some research on this model because it is, it is a nice model with all these wonderful um, uh, creature comforts that we're used to it from, at, uh, from our house. Sorry, a little, little tongue tied. All right, so let's get into the kitchen stuff. Starting up at the top here, we have a lot of the cabinetry and the drawers are just super solid. Nice big um, uh, grab handles here too. And they even take the time to put little little bump stops here so that way when you're opening, it's not uh, dinging up your trim or, or marring up your, your uh, hardware. Nice space here that we have. They've got the backsplash. So we know we're gonna make a mess, especially with a big sink here and a big faucet that we're gonna splash them, you know, especially at cleanup time. But I like the fact that they even give us some more space here so we can uh, plug in our coffee pots and things like that. Nice recessed lighting. And as you watch this video, you're gonna see a lot of lighting around. Not only in the ceiling with the pendant but a lot of backlighting super cool so that way you can at night you can maybe dim down some of the the ceiling lights or some of the turn some of those lights off and just use the backlighting to give a good ambiance and kind of settle down lots of storage that they're using pretty much everywhere that they can they are putting storage for us so nice big sturdy um, uh, drawers here they've got dovetail kind of style like our house big uh, heavy duty uh, drawer glides and just just see just when you pull them out you can just tell the quality with with their construction but we even have all these drawers here we can throw like a nice big deep deep one here got storage up underneath the sink even maybe like uh, throw some spices or some um, dish towels and things like that up here 
And then of course the big island, there's a lot to talk about here. My gosh, we have plenty of prep area. We've got storage underneath. Um, and talking about the storage, again, the drawers are just solid as you pull them out, but I thought this was really cool. They recessed the towel, paper towel holder here, so you can either use out of the drawer or you can easily leave it up through the weekend and, and get to that. But just cool, like little innovative touches that you're gonna see throughout the model. And the trash, I love the fact that they've done, I have this at my house. I keep one dedicated for trash. I've got another one dedicated for, for recycling. So super kudos on Brinkley on doing something like that. We've got, again, more storage here. Opposite of the island is a huge slide out that we have lots going on here. Big residential refrigerator and it is 12 volts. So we've get that, uh, uh, the capacity out of it and the cooling properties of a 12 volt refrigerator. Of course, cooking, we've got a large wide microwave here. And then we have our two, uh, three burner stovetop, oven. And again, look at all this storage here that we have. So that way we're getting into some big cooking meals, big pots and pan drawer. We have everything at our fingertips here to be able to just keep on rolling and get those kiddos uh, fed. But again, look at just the, the lighting here. When you're cooking, you need light to be able to see everything. So many RVs will usually maybe recess one here, or one here, not both. So we've got a lot of lighting. And even with the window here, we can kick out in case you, uh-oh, burned up something. You can easily open that or just a nice spring or fall day. And then check out the pantry. I mean, this alone, it's got outlets so we can have some of our um, cooking appliances in here out of the way if we want. Uh, they are adjustable. And the fact that it's, if you notice when we open it up, the light kicks on. So that's just one less thing. Your hands are full with all your pantry items. We don't have to worry about. And it's so darn big and, and deep. I mean, it can even hide a human if you want. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. Anywho, and then I love the fact that they even um, thought about the dogs and the, and the cats, right? We've got pop, um, what do you call them? Popable uh, bowls so we can easily take inside or take outside, but it's cool. They've got a magnet here. Look at that, secure. So now, now your fur, uh, four legged furry friend isn't like kicking around food and splashing water, or everything. You've got a, a nice uh, solid uh, base there to, to be able to feed them. All right, then we're gonna jump into the, we're gonna trade spots here. We've got another slide here, opposing slide. Check out the space, it's deep, it's wide. We've got a lot of seating here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think three out of the four will kick up so you can uh, sit back and relax. You even have storage area here that pulls, that opens up and you can have a table that sits here. If maybe the kids wanna catch up on something on their iPad or their cell phone, or if you wanna use it for like, maybe like a little breakfast table, uh, having, your, having your coffee. And then you even have down here, we have a cell phone charger integrated into the sofa. We have storage here for our remotes. And again, you can kick it out. Man, I'm just chilling. This is super comfortable just sitting here, just shooting this video quickly. You do have, again, more storage. I mean, they have taken care of every little nook and cranny and made it, made it beautiful and um, integrated so we can maximize bringing all our wonderful uh, camping gear. We have a fireplace down here, it's electric, so it does emit heat other than making, I guess our, you know, throwing a movie, throw this on, dim the lights and have a cool ambiance here. And check out the TV, how big the TV is. Uh, it is recessed off the wall because it has, it has a, um, if I'm not mistaken, it has a uh, tilt feature here too, but check out, it's recessed for some backlighting. I know it's kind of, I don't know, maybe we're camping, we don't need it, but it is super cool. I have something like this at my house and I just love it for movie time. So um, I, it, yeah, it's just residential um, feeling throughout the whole, the whole uh, living area so far. Behind here is really cool. As I mentioned, it's a bunk bed model. The kiddos have like their own little uh, space here that they can call their own. And a couple of things I got to point out, I mean, other than the obvious, we have two big double beds, but we have uh, ample lighting. We have um, at the end, there's a 12 volt and a 110 volt outlet so that they can charge their, their, um, their mobile devices. But even just the fact that they, you know, at first we're like, oh, where's the ladder? Brinkley has these, I guess, foot steps, if you will, or grab bars 
I mean, I am just shaking the whole darn camper. This is super solid. So I know one, the ladder's not here, but it's not in the way. But two, this is so much more secure than I've seen a lot of the other bunk model uh, travel trailers out there with the ladder. This, is, this isn't this is going anywhere and you, your kids will be able to um, get up and down easily, safely. We have a lot of storage for them. We have drawers, we have a shirt closet. Again, another window here, so if it's a nice day. But as I mentioned outside, this is a 50 amp service because we have two air conditioners in the roof. So if it is midsummer and blasting 100 degrees, we can close all this down. We can close the blinds off and run those two ACs. And, and even with the doors closed, we've got plenty of air that's coming back and keeping them, keeping them comfortable. All right. Speaking of bedrooms, let's jump up to the front. Before we do that, let's hit the bathroom on the way. Nice big bathroom. And again, the details in the residential styling, we have a lot of hooks you'll have like coming into the door there on this wall here, uh, beyond, uh, opposite of the, on the outside. We have hooks here for, for our towels. Heck, they even have a nice toilet paper holder that's residential. You can stack a couple there and have, um, have backup for you. We've got shelves, we've got plenty of storage here. Again, nice backlighting to the mirror so you don't have something blaring at you and you can easily get to everything. Storage that goes into the bedroom so that way if you wanna throw some, um, some extra towels towels in there you can easily uh, access them from either side tons and tons of storage again in the bathroom got a nice counter to match all the other residential styling that we have in the kitchen area and then the shower I'm gonna kind of get it dirty I guess with my feet here but man look at the spray uh, nozzles we have two here we have one here we have even the handheld and they've even got a nice little basket in there that we can throw our toiletries just giving us a uh, just again more residential styling like you're used to at home so when you're out camping for the weekend man this is going to feel like we're just at home and just uh, be be more comfortable right all right let's jump into that bedroom And again, a nice residential feel with the bedroom. We have a nice queen bed. It's a bamboo mattress, super comfortable. If you, you guys have the pillows or the mattresses at home, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, definitely do some reading on it, but it's it's just a high density, super co uh, comfortable that uh, mattress that contor uh, con conforms to your body as you're sleeping. And as you can see, nice headboard with a lot of uh, beautiful cabinetry around us. So we've got the big, uh, tall shirt closets on either side, plenty of overhead, couple drawers on both sides. And then back here, you notice like a little little nook here so you can throw your mobile devices in there at night, maybe, maybe a couple books and do some reading. And then opposite of the bed is, again, as I mentioned in the bedroom or in the bathroom, you have storage access uh, from both sides. You have a couple shelves here tons of drawers i think there's what one two three four drawers here even the hooks that you can you can throw some of your clothing up or maybe your towels and stuff and i like the fact that the tv's here kind of up tilted uh recessed out of the way so we don't have to worry about bang, banging any heads and lastly up underneath uh the bed is plenty of storage and right now it's it's home for some pillows and some bar stools that you can put out at that island but you can get some nice big uh, comforters in there and that way whatever season's thrown at you while you're out there camping you've got plenty plenty to uh you know space to store for all for all encounters so what do you think i know there's probably a ton of stuff that i didn't get a chance to cover again do the research but my first impressions of this new 2024 brinkley air or excuse me brinkley rv z air 295 is phenomenal it's definitely everything that they've been bragging do you agree all right, so what do you think? The impeccable detail of this camper, not only from just from the construction, but all the way down to just all the little details inside. And as I mentioned, there's a lot of stuff that we didn't cover, like the tank capacities is I think double the size on say other campers, you know, comparable camper sizes. So there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna challenge you guys, do some homework. Again, this is the 2024 Brinkley RV Z Air 295. They brag about the automotive exterior and the residential interior, and I definitely, definitely agree. Do you agree? Give us a thumbs up if you do. Comment below, I'd love to hear your feedback and your first impressions on this camper. And show us some love, smash that subscribe button. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites. Hopefully I'll be in one of these.